There's the lock. What a beautiful day. And people enjoying a, a drink by the river. I don't realise how big and massive the locks are until you're walking past them. Beautiful. How peaceful. Yeah, Allington Lock. Down a little bit further. And we lose sight of the water. Oh dear. Right in the middle of the river down there's a couple of mud banks. Oh, so it doesn't really matter because this is only the lock control gates, the actual river is just to the left, with another set of lock gates further down. So this is more or less dead water. Yeah, I've been wanting to come here for quite a while now. Kept saying, I must pop in, I must pop in. Oh, that was worth stopping for. Absolutely lovely. Well, it's only half a mile down the road to to Ailsa Bridge, so might as well go there. Oh, annoying little rattle somewhere, and I can't trace it. Looks like we caught it with the tide out today. A little bit closer. And 
gone to that notice back there. It's been built in 1250, so it's doing pretty well. Be a devil and walk up round by the church. Must look a bit weird walking around the crash I'm in on, but on the other hand I can't be bothered to take the camera off and, <laughs> and put it on me on me walkabout mode. So not many people about so mm, lovely smell of fish and chips. Things I'll do to get a bit of video. Must be something to do with old age and insanity or something. Looks like these supporting walls were built about the same time as the bridge itself. Always enjoy the walk along this raised, raised up section. Nice view of the Aylesford High Street. Just wish I could take the traffic lights out of it. There's always something spoils an idyllic scene. Could have come up those steps and saved myself a lot of walking, but it's uh, much more interesting to come up the, all around the long way and up onto the road section. Came down here the other day with the wife, and uh, in previous years, about this time, we, you could sit on the on the seat there, and there'd be. Uh, a whole lot of swallows. Hang on. Swifts rather, not swallows. I think there's a few went by then. Yeah, they're going round in a circle. For some reason, though, they seem to circle about this point. Let's walk up a little way. Look over the wall. There it is, an English country churchyard. Eternally blissful. I've got a squeak. I don't know where's my shoes or or my leg or my knee or my wallet. Got an ancient old pub over the road here called the Hengist. H E N. G-I-S-T If you go down the side of it Nice shady little walk Here you come to a nice little footbridge over the stream. Not much of a stream, I admit, but nonetheless, a stream.
Yeah. Right, from here, I think I'll drive through the village of Aylesford, the way we walked just now to the church, and carry on. Just recently resurfaced this, it used to be cobbles around this part of it. Uh, just sit in the sun and cook for a little while. Hooray! Best to watch out for people jumping the traffic lights. Now everybody's behaving today. the friars. I'll try and provide a link when I do the video to to give you an insight into it. Once a, once a year just just down this road and in that field over there I hold a, a vintage motorcycle meeting, rally, come think of it how you will. Now you wouldn't think the friars would be into that, would you? <laughs> what a picturesque little corner this one, I always like it. Pretty scenery, but quite often spoilt by the road. There you are, taking a quick look at a you know a nice view and wallop you go down a pothole. Road ahead closed. What are they on about? Side road, I hope. Well, now that's pretty pathetic. Wonder where the side road goes. Now, where do we go? Brilliant, not a signpost in sight. Ah, bridle way. That's a fat lot of elk, don't tell you where it goes. Well, I don't know. I know I'm heading towards the river roughly. Well, there's a church up there, so... Watch out for potholes. Wee. I'm getting a bit fed up with this. So it's old church road, there's the church. I think I'll go back up here and <laughs> of 
Ooh, road. Oh, I know where we are. 